Certain plastics can be replaced with seaweed. An alternative to plastic film is algae. Making plastic alternatives from plants has several positive environmental benefits. Plastic-based film might be bad for the environment. The ultra-thin material, which is used to make bad geese and shrink wrap, is one of the more challenging polymers to recycle and typically ends up festering in landfills or the ocean. And that can lead to a significant problem when you realize that people use hundreds of billions of plastic bags each year throughout the world. Consequently, an equally substantial response is necessary. They were given eight options to test out as alternatives to plastic. After a year, three winners will be selected to split the prize and continue working on their products. The experimenters employed a range of substances, including agricultural waste and peas, to make a plastic alternative. One stood out as their undisputed favorite, more than half of them included algae in some form in their concoctions. Seaweed and kelp are said to as the ocean's lungs. As a means of addressing issues with the nearshore coastal ecosystem, such as warming, acidification, and deoxygenation, we have seen a surge in farming during the past few years. Currently, seaweed is used as a food additive, a fertilizer, and a source of vitamins, but as its accessibility grows, so may its imaginative uses. Five competitors used kelp, seaweed, or another form of algae to make bioplastics or plastic film alternatives. Competitors were not PLA, which creates bioplastic packaging that is compostable and low carbon, and Kelpie, which creates drink pouches for marathon runners. Native seaweed is converted into ocean safe packaging by Zero Circle. A California based firm called Sway replaces thin film plastic with seaweed that can be composted at home. Finally, Marie in Iceland has developed yet another biofilm alternative that uses local algae and totally dissolves in the environment. The transformation of a slimy green plant into a product that mimics plastic can be challenging to comprehend but it's a stunningly simple concept. Combining various polymers utilizing the building blocks of fundamental chemistry is the process used to create plastics. The building blocks could come from virtually anything. Crude oil is frequently extracted from the soil, converted into polymers, and then molded into a durable, clear resin for creating traditional plastics. A similar process is applied to seaweed. Since fossil fuels are only the compressed remains of extinct plants and animals, this is not surprising. The plant can be chemically reduced to its carbons and sugars and then converted into building blocks. Following the disruption of the bonds holding the plant together, you essentially produce identical biobricks. These biobricks can then be used to create an entirely new product. The intriguing thing about employing seaweed as a material for industry is that it also has benefits because of its natural qualities. So it's not always necessary to completely redesign anything to use conventional polymers. Less progress is being made along that scale for the genuinely brilliant biodegradable bioplastics. The hydrophobicity and permeability of these materials are being preserved, and they are not deteriorating as quickly. Sometimes they show biological activity. These antibacterial products are readily available and significantly different from traditional plastics. By retaining some of these characteristics, plastic alternatives can decompose more quickly, keep their edibility, and combat bacteria. The competition's five algae-based innovations were all created with biodegradability and breakdown in mind. For instance, not plot takes roughly 10 days to decompose in home compost. However, depending on water temperature in the maritime environment, the alternative can swiftly deteriorate. Seaweed is also widely available and may be found almost anywhere there is a beach. Some people regard it as an even greater environmental irritant. Not to mention, it produces a lot of growth without the significant use of pesticides, fertilizers, freshwater, and farmland that is typical of modern farms. Essentially, the only space left for growth is the oceans. Seaweed is your only real option, though, because you cannot grow crops or trees in the ocean. Beyond material testing, a number of further steps would still be necessary before seaweed-based bioplastics could be produced at a larger scale and released into the market. Plastic production techniques have advanced for more than 70 years to reach current output levels. To be as productive and effective as any alternative will require time and broad support. Additionally, going from one type of plastic to another won't reduce the world's reliance on disposables. There is also a chance for competitors in plastic innovation to address that. While we don't want seaweed-based packaging to replace all current plastic packaging, we do believe it is the ideal choice in the many situations when thin film packaging serves a vital and necessary function. As competitors test their plastic alternatives, they will be linked with large clothing labels to evaluate the products across operational supply networks. It will be obvious whether seaweed or another kind of bioplastic would prevail in only another year.